place? Th th this, this is a specific. I understand. This is a specific that you ought to know. As someone who said, the buck stops with me, I'm going to stay in my job, I'm going to give the answers to the American people, and I know what happened, except for you're not going to tell us. And you're not going to tell the American people. And you yourself said in an interview that that foments this notion of conspiracy theories. Guess what? When you sit here and repeatedly tell people, hey, I have to wait, as it frustrated everybody on this committee, guess what? It undermines your credibility and whether you're really going to get to it. So I'm going to ask you again, what did the Technical Service Division determine was going to be the event perimeter? We are still gathering reports. We are interviewing individuals. You, you, know, you know what it is, though, no. You, you're just not going to tell us, right? When I have those details, I will most certainly share those. Was the gun already on the roof, or did the shooter carry the gun up with him? I do not have that information at this time. Well, when was the last sweep of that roof done prior to the rally? I do not have that information at this time. So um, how many holds, I mean, so, so most of us here have been in events, and Secret Service has been there. There's been security. And I can't tell you how many times um, we've, we've said, there's going to be a security hold right here. So we're going to wait. And we wait to one or two or three, th two or three minutes. Uh, and, and yet we're hearing from you, apparently, that there were no holds in place so, uh, ever in, instituted here with President Trump's uh, going on stage. And you said. And this is, I think, connected with this. You said uh, they hadn't adjudicated the shooter to be a threat. He was adjudicated to be a suspicious person, even though we got some dynamic video that Mr. Christopher Morgan put on the, on the video for us. So I guess my question for you is, and I think you answered this. I just want to see if you're consistent with what you said about an hour and a half ago. What do you do if a suspicious person is, is, uh, is identified by the agency? So at a number of our events, it is not unusual. I, I know it's not unusual. What do you do? Those individuals that are identified as suspicious, we will send teams out. Did, to did, was, a team send, was a team sent out here then? There were teams that were sent to identify and interview that individual. They, they were sent to interview the individual who's scampered up in camo on top of a roof within 130 yards of his target. And did, they, did your team get there? When did your team get there to conduct that interview? I don't have the details on the timeline. It is my so, so So if you did send, if, your team, if they did send a team and they're going to interview them, and you said you described that earlier as an investigation, why didn't they put a security hold on President Trump going on stage at that rally? At a number of our protective sites, there are suspicious individuals that are identified all the time. That and they, doesn't necessarily mean that they constitute a threat. Of course not. But here you got, you got a guy scampering up the side of a building on top of a roof. It's identified to you, and you said you send a team there. And, and uh, you, you can't answer that. And this gets to my, one of my finer points, Mr. Mr. Chairman, if I can make it. And that is... We can have these kind of interview sessions, five minutes, uh, you know, everybody gets a kiss at the pig, five minutes, and, and she gets to stonewall us, not deliver answers. So we say, okay, we're going to put together a congressional committee, a blue ribbon committee. Same crap will happen. I am calling, and, and I'll support that, but I will tell you this, I am calling on the speaker to give us and, and put together a truly independent commission of qualified former uh, Secret Service agents, uh, presidential and VIP protect, uh, protective services people who can actually conduct this kind of, uh, of investigation and give us real answers, because I, I don't think you can, you're going to give us those answers. You should have come today ready to give us answers. I call upon you to resign today, today. And I also would say I've got a bunch of uh, UC requests, if I can go ahead, Mr. Chairman. We'll proceed with the request. Thank you. I, I apologize. It might, right, take, right, go ahead. It might take a moment. Uh, so, uh, 
Anthony Guglielmi, the Secret Service spokesman. One from him. Without objection, so ordered. Article, U.S. Secret Service says it previously denied Trump request for additional resources, New York Times reports. Without objection, so ordered. Secret Service says it denied earlier Trump request for more federal resources. Without objection, so ordered. Secret Service acknowledges denying some past requests by Trump's campaign for tighter security. Without objection, so ordered. A preliminary findings by Senator Ron Johnson and his committee. Without objection, so ordered. <clears throat> Articles entitled, Notice Anything Different About Trump's Secret Service Detailed. Uh, next, former Biden official corrects herself after saying Dems must turn their fire on Donald Trump to beat him. Secret uh, Service director says Buck stops with her, but she will not resign. Disney Star Wars Mark Hamill cracks joke about Trump's ear bandage following an assassination attempt. Biden, I haven't engaged in inciting rhetoric Trump has. I'm just talking about threat to democracy. Uh, piece called, Who is Secret Service Chief Kimberly Cheadle? Charlemagne the God says Trump's solely responsible for violent rhetoric that led to an attempt on his life. Video actress Amanda Seals pushes conspiracy theory Donald Trump assassinate, assassination trip was staged. Report Secret Service identified rooftop as a potential vulner, vulnerability days before the rally. Watch BlackRock removes ads showing former President Donald Trump's would-be assassin. Why does the Biden administration have 100 percent competent Secret Service after assassination attempt? Secret Service Director, we didn't put snipers on the roof because it was kind of sloped. Here's what Thomas Matthew Crooks did in the days leading up to the Trump assassination attempt. Secret Service Director under scrutiny for diversity initiatives after Trump assassination attempt. The official story on Trump shooting makes no sense at all. Andrew McCabe says Trump assassination Mr. Chairman, uh, point of order, I'm happy to send to all of them. Uh, I, I just so as to facilitate you don't want to read the, is it too tedious? I'm well, we're not even really hearing them anyway. So if we could, is it, uh, are, are, is it's it up to you, Mr. Chairman. You would like me to slow, I'll slow it down. Uh, if, uh, I was probably going too fast. Secret Service's explanations for security failures ahead of Trump assassination attempt are not adding up. U.S. reportedly received intel of Iranian plot to assassinate President Trump. What WTH Secret Service now saying that they didn't put any agents on the roof because slight slope was too dangerous. Report, U.S. officials received intel of Iranian plot to assassinate Donald Trump before Crook's attempt. Exclusive GOP rep cloud. Homeland Security Agency is interfering in House's assassination investigation. Why Trump's raised fist after surviving an assassination attempt is triggering the liberal media. Questions swirl over the security lapse at Trump rally, reviving old concerns about Secret Service. Secret Service scrambles to shift blame after Trump shooting as backlash hits hard. Nobody contacted me. Must see six camera split screen of assassination attempt captures everything shooter was in open two plus minutes. Mario, five reasons you should be angry. Breaking, shooter spotted up to 30 minutes before firing, reported multiple times. Pictures taken, no one stopped him. Cheadle calls the 30 minutes between noticing and neutralizing shooters very short a shooter a very short period of time. Secret Service Director says Buck stops with me on Trump's assassination attempt but won't resign. Uh, 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 Mr. Reed, we'll, we'll stop right there. We can retake them on the next one. I know there are more, but uh, without objection, we'll enter into the record all of those and we'll take up the others uh, after the next speaker. Chair now recognizes Ms. Brown from Ohio for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I first want to highlight certain comments from Ranking Member Raskin. My colleagues on both sides of the aisle, President Biden and Vice President Harris, and that is political violence is completely unacceptable in this country, full stop. It is an assault on our democracy itself, and I am devastated by this attack on a candidate for the president for the office of the highest office in the land and continue to pray for the victims of the shooting and their families. As someone who has known gun violence firsthand, no one should have to experience the pain of losing a loved one to weapons of war. It is deeply unfortunate political violence has become far too common. Whether it is the deadly attack on the Capitol on January 6th, the assault on Speaker Pelosi's husband, or the threats of violence against election workers, we all must work to condemn political violence and tone down the rhetoric. So, Director Cheeto, on behalf of the hardworking men and women of the Secret Service, can you give us some perspective as into what goes into securing an, an event like the rally? Like, how much time do you have to pre prepare? Thank you for the question. 
generally when we receive notification uh, that there's going to be an event taking place at a venue, uh, the advanced team assignments are made and there is a five day process to conduct walkthroughs, coordinate with staff, uh, local staff, and uh, whether it be campaign staff or the protectees staff, and then with local law enforcement on where the perimeter is going to be, the, the size and the scope of the event, how many attendees there are going to be, if it's an indoor rally, outdoor rally, uh, what sort of assets are available locally, what sort of assets the Secret Service can bring to bear, uh, and what the scope of the event that the, the, the staff is trying to accomplish. So to that point, how many agents were recommended or requested as opposed to how many were assigned? So I'm not gonna get into specifics of how many were assigned but those numbers that were requested were provided. And how many local agents were involved in the uh, preparation, if you will, that you talked about, that five-day preparation? So there were a number of local agents from the local office, uh, as well as agents from the former Trump detail that were involved in that advanced process. Do we have a number? I do have a number. I, I, I'm not gonna release that number in a sudden. You're not making this easy for us. Um, this is a shocking incident on the former president's life and an appalling instance of political violence and a threat to our democratic values. I'm thankful that the former president is on demand. And again, I'm grieving for the family and friends of Corey Compatore, who lost a loved one um, in this shooting and now know the unbearable pain of gun violence. I really hope this serves as a reminder about our responsibility to attack policies, not personalities, to be honest and truthful, and to treat one another with dignity, respect, and thoughtfulness. And with that, I yield my, ranking, I yield my remaining time to Ranking Member Raskin.